What is up? Hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. I hope your year is starting off great. If you start this week, you're starting the upcoming weeks. I want to say you're going to have a great year. You're going to learn a lot. It's going to be hard, but you are going to learn a lot this year. And you're going to be able to use that every year after, you know, whether we are or we are not in a virtual environment exclusively or hybridly. So today I want to walk you through a resource I just made, but you could have gotten this resource from anywhere. You could have bought it off Teachers Pay Teachers. You could have, you know, not, this is not sponsored by Teachers Pay Teachers, but I made a free one if you want it. You can edit it, make it yours, but I want to walk you through it and kind of give you the thoughts behind it. This is also a great thing that you can do and post this video in your Google Classroom with the resource and your students can watch this. So hello students, if you're here, uh, keep working hard, edit this resource, make it work for you. So I'm gonna walk you through kind of the mindset behind the resource. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, ask you to subscribe. So please hit the red subscribe button. It's right underneath here. If you wanna hit that, that'll be incredible. Um, it'll change your life. Just kidding. But it would be really cool of you to hit it. It's free. So hit that red subscribe button so you can come find this later. There you go. That's why you should do it. So I have linked the resource in my Instagram bio. It's where I kind of put all of my links, my templates, my resources, all of that stuff. Um, so you can go search there on your phone right now. Hey, Mary, what's up? How you doing, girl? It's good to see you. Um, so if you could, uh, you can click the link underneath this YouTube video. It's in the description or you just go to at Tyler Tarver. I can, I can toss that up on the screen. Check this out. Blue. Get your free copy at the link in my Instagram bio. So you can go on your phone and see it if you want, but I'm going to walk you through it on the screen. So this is my Instagram. Just go to that link right there. And this is where I kind of keep all of my resources, like a quick reference guide for you guys to grab anything you want. Um, you can you can hit those like and follows if you want, but you don't have to. So let's go down. It's like the third or fourth one right now. It might move in the future if you're watching this. In the future, in the wor in a world. <laughs> Just kidding. So. If you want, grab that. Um, will this resource work with Canvas? Yes, Tammy, if you guys use Google at your school, this resource will work. This is a Google-centered resource. So you can toss it in there. You can toss it in Classroom. You can toss it anywhere you want. And you don't have to require it. You could, but it's also a resource that can help students plan their week um, because it gets confusing. And that's one of the big things of virtual education is it gets really hard for people to plan and schedule. And so this can help you do it um, this can help you get help them schedule or they can schedule themselves. I'm going to show you both ways to do that. Leslie said you work for a district that uses all Microsoft. Go ahead and leave the district. That's terrible. That's terrible. Come on. Why are we, why are we still acting like Microsoft is decent? Like, let's get out of here. Okay. So right here, um, it's like the fifth one down. I've got the digital notebook full semester, and then I've got the weekly one. So we're going to go through both. Um, personally, if you've already started the school year, I would recommend using the weekly one, which I'm going to walk through. It's very similar. There's a couple changes I made and, uh, and, uh, then there's the full resource on the digital notebook here or the full semester. And that's what we're going to go through first. Leslie's like, can I use your resource? Absolutely. You can use, figure out a way to use this stuff. It could be just for you for planning and you can attach it to your own Gmail account. So here we go. You're going to click on that digital notebook full semester. Now, it's going to prompt you to make a copy. The reason I do this is so you can edit this to make it yours. I made what I think is good, but you might not like that. It might not work for your class. Change it, adjust it, edit that resource. So hit make a copy. Now it is making a copy in your drive. I do not have access to this. Okay. I do not have access to this. Okay. So I've got like a welcome page on here. Uh, it's just saying hello to you or the students. You can delete that if you want or leave it on there. It's up to you. Listen to your heart. When it's calling to you, why do I sing? I'm so sorry. If you're watching this, I apologize for that. Okay, so I did this like a traditional notebook. I made it an eight and a half by 11. So if you wanted to print off pieces of this, you could. Um, you could print this off if you want. I thought it might fit better and be more like, because the slideshows feel like you're doing a presentation. This feels more like a notebook. Plus I can toss resources on the side, which you're going to see in a second. Okay, so we'll go down to here. All right, so this is like your title page, okay? So if you're handing this out, you would have the student write their name right here. Um, it's all editable. You can put like Harry Potter. There they go. They can write their name right there. Also, they write the subject they're in. 
they can do this by subject. They can do it if like, say it's like a lower grade where it's like everything, they can organize all of it here. I'm given the flexibility for them to be able to use this or you to use this and expand it and grow it as your school years goes, goes on. This might not be a bad idea to start with one of these and then put your resources in it. You know, I've, I've tossed out some Google sheet uh, curriculum maps and I think those are great, but a lot of us like the photos. We like the dynamics, the graphics, all this. It's almost like a work through of our day. So uh, put the subject, you can put geometry. That's not how you spell geometry. That's how you spell geometry. Okay, and then you can put your favorite quote here. I'm just gonna leave it. Well, just, no, I'll put a quote. I'll put a quote, guys. How about this? Cool beans, Rod Kimball. Remember that, hot rod? Nope, okay, it's fine. You don't have to remember it. Put your favorite quote there. I thought that might be a good way for you to see their personality and maybe reference it if you need a, um, a quick look in the future. Okay, so then the second slide is important links. Now, remember, we're in the full semester one right here. Um, thank you, Jennifer, for saying that. I, I appreciate it. I hope I, that's the reason I make these resources is so that they can help you guys. Okay, so this one, um, this is one you could set up once in the weekly or in the um, full semester. And I think this could be really easy. I know one of the things I've seen with my kids and my, actual, my students at my school and my actual kids is that they need quick references to all these important links. And it's like, yeah, we talked about it on the first day, like, how many of us remember what we talked about on the first day? So it's good to add these in here. So on the right side of the screen, I've tossed a bunch of links to stuff I think can help them, like uh, walkthroughs of Jamboard, Gmail, Docs, all these things that they can use. You can go in and be like, you know what? My students are never gonna use this. So you can delete, like, this isn't a math class, Tyler. Ugh. You can delete that, like, I don't care. You can do delete whatever you want, okay? Those are helpful links that I thought would be helpful. Now. On the left side, that's where you're gonna put your stuff. So you can put um, like classroom links. You could say Google Classroom. And then you could link to your your classes, your like the Google Classroom link. Cause you know, especially if they're younger kids, they might not know where it is. Okay, you could link to, um, if you're using a different LMS. So our school LMS, and you could link to there. So put any links, you can link to the syllabus, um, Kimberly, are you starting tomorrow? Are y'all starting school tomorrow? You're going to do great. You're on here. You're excited. See, you're hype. Um, you're, oh, you did say that. I'm sorry. I didn't see your first comment. Y'all are starting school tomorrow. You're going to do great. It's going to be a great year. You're going to learn a ton and it's going to grow your teaching repertoire. Okay. Um, Mary, you said, this is what you're doing with English 11th and 12th. And you now have in-person quarantine and virtual all at once. That's easy, right? That's so easy to do. You know what you could do? Um, you know, the way in my mind is this would be like something you hand out to all your students and they build their own, or you can make this one public one and share it with all the students so they can get the links off of it as their week goes. And then they can kind of get, pick and choose what they want. So put links to different things that you think are important right here. If you've got like our, um, you know, school grade book, you can link to that. Um, so put those links in there. This is kind of like your, your reference thing up here. So um you're using google classroom kimberly you're gonna love it google classroom it's it's gonna take a little bit of time when you start rolling and then you can start going um leslie asked if google interface works with blackboard i think it does i, I know you can definitely put links in there because at the very least google is available on the internet so you can just toss those links in and so at the very least yes you can toss links in but i know that like any lms that's worth anything incorporates google because google is the best thing for education ever okay so Mary, good point. Teaches if you're online, no matter what, the students in class won't miss anything. Um, at the bottom of this page, if you'll notice, there are some quotes. So I toss different quotes in at the bottom of this. And I call this the baller teacher, you know, or the baller semester digital notebook. I don't know what I'm calling it. But at the bottom, it says discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. Abraham Lincoln. So anytime you see a quote, this is just a little, little, uh, Easter egg, if they'll, they'll call it that. Um, if you see a quote on the page, if you click that, it will take you to a YouTube video where I'm actually explaining that exact quote. I do this series called Rock the Quote. And so this takes you to a video where you can hear the quote and hear the like the thoughts behind it. So I don't know. That's just a fun little uh, thing that I added into it. That's not me. I don't know who that is. Is that an ad? I think that's an ad. It's got to be an ad or else I link to the wrong thing and share it with everybody. Sorry, everybody. Yes, it's an ad. Thank goodness that's an ad. <laughs> oh, man, that scared me pretty good right there. Um, also, be careful about ads in your class. 
So I've never seen that ad before. So don't think that that pops up on all my videos. So quote of the day, you can click on those quotes at the bottom and it takes you to a video where I explain that quote. Just a fun little thing. Now, third sheet in this notebook, it is a Google help video. So I know a ton of you guys are using Google in your classes. And so, you know, I've made these cheat sheets. I have, um, Resource Bank said, I like to party. Better quote from Hot Rod. Absolutely. And they like getting that argument about who likes to party. You don't like to party. He likes to party. He's like, no, I like to party. No one else parties. Um, so I've also made the third page is some Google help videos. These are quick tutorials. I know you guys have probably seen my Google teacher cheat sheet and my uh, my Google student cheat sheet. If you haven't, I've got it on my website, tarveracademy.com. It's free. It's just like this one doc that, or website that has like everything they would need to know. And so I've got some quick resources here for your students or for you on Google. I kind of geared these towards students, but you can have them if you want to. Okay, next, navigation. Now remember, this is a full semester. So you've got 18 weeks that you're gonna be building stuff out. You don't wanna like scroll through and search for whatever week it is. So I actually made a navigation section, on, like right there at the beginning, where if you click on it, you can just click on like, okay, I need to jump to week 14. You can click here and then click on week 14, takes you to slide 138 a lot of slides boom you're on week 14 and then you can start working through that week so um, that navigation is really helpful especially as you start or your students start building out your entire semester next okay let's get back up back up here we go okay so now here this one i didn't know if it'd be helpful but i thought it's better to toss it in there um toss it in. mary yes this took a lot of time it took a lot of time to do all this um, it's funny, a lot of those Google videos, cause all those links are my videos that I made. Um, and I made those all last year and I put them out and I was like, oh, nobody's, nobody cares about these resources. I just wasted three months of my life making these resources. And then now people are starting to use them. So that's really cool. Um, so thank you, Tammy, for saying that I'm trying to simplify this stuff for you guys. Um, so, Ooh, let me, let me get back into this. Okay. Sorry. So I'm on this, this attendance one. I didn't know if this would be helpful for you guys. It might be helpful for the students. It depends on how you want to do this. Okay. If this is for you, for them, I just thought this might be the best way we could do it. Um, they could go in and do attendance through the week. And so present, absent, or tardy. That way a student can let you know what their plans are. And I put these little icons here and I put instructions over here on how to make copies. Cause I didn't want to toss in cause that would have been five times nine, 45 times three. So that's 135 of these icons would have been insane. So I showed them how to make a copy of this. So I've got a link to a video in there. See, it's right there. I keep pointing to it. You can't see my hand. I pointed to, I linked to a video, a quick video on how to do it. It's like less than a minute or I walked them through. Hold option, click it, drag it, and then drop it. You could also work out a color system if you wanted to, to where they could like make little things and like color code it, however you want to do it. So there you go. They can link to stuff when they're here. They can link to it, hold option, click and drag. And then they can click and drag and you can change these icons and like you might have, cause I know there's some schools that are doing, they're like, Oh, I'm out for COVID. So they could go in and mark COVID uh, through all this. Thank you, Leslie, for saying you like the resources. I've honestly, guys, I love making resources that people actually use. I made resources for years that no one ever used. And now I'm like getting the chance to put them into these resources. So it's been really cool. Um, so thank you guys for your encouragement. That legit means a lot to me. And I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, so Go in here, you can use this, students can, there's the first nine weeks and there is the second nine weeks. So if you wanna use those, you can, or you can delete them out of it. any of these slides. Like you're like, you know what, Tyler, that's not how we're doing attendance. Just delete them out before you share it. See, deleted, okay? So there you go. Cool, so let's walk through what a week looks like. So whenever you go in here, I added a section on the actual page where you can go in and you can add stuff in there. Like, um, you know, we have an assembly, on Tuesday, you know, picture week, you know, uh, don't forget to submit assignment, whatever you want, anything you want in here, like you can toss information right there on the top of the week that's pertinent to that week um, in there. So, okay, rolls in here, week at a glance. Um, this is my idea was that they could go in and they could take this and they say week one, and then they're looking at like, what do I have coming up this week? What is going on on Monday? Monday, um, you know, focus on your math. You know, it's difficult. You know, they can throw in ideas, things like that. They can add stuff in, you know, Wednesday, you could say, you know, we have 
um, class presentations. Whatever you want or whatever the student wants to put in there, they can toss those in there uh, for the week. It's kind of like a glance at your week. Now, then I thought, okay, there's a week, but then like, let's really focus on what do we need daily? All right. And I love, this is my Michael Hyatt planner. It's like, these are like 40 bucks a pop, but they're really great because they break your week down. And so I kind of used it as inspiration for my daily stuff. And so I broke down their week Monday through Friday. And remember, I've got a weekly version of this. So if you wanted to, you could actually put their stuff in there for them for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like these are your three most important things. These are things you need to work on, be thinking about, et cetera. You can toss those things in there and um, use them as a, like a resource they can have through, you know, throughout the week through to, to help guide themselves during the week. Here we go. So here we go. Monday. I keep, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So if they can put the date here, so you can call it September. What is today? September 6th, 6th, 7th, 7th. 7, 2020. There you go. You put the date in and then they need to like mark out what are the most important things I need to do this week. I need to finish project for science. I need to, you know, email teacher about late homework. Then they can put stuff that's also important, you know, start working on, you know, pizza project. I don't know why. There you go. And they could put in those different things that they need throughout the week. Um, and then they would just like, you could sit here and you could insert a, um, not that, say, let's do this right here. You can toss in a shape. You can just put like anything you want as a shape. You can put the shape in there and say, I finished a shape. I finished it that day. And they can also grab like a, an icon that they like. Um, and then you can fill in this. Boom, done. That's how you can fill it in. I could have made those boxes, but I don't know. I might go back and do that for you guys so you don't have to do that on your own. But just an idea. There you go. There you go. Okay. Trying to go paperless. Mary's trying to go paperless and minimize materials being passed back and forth. So you're using, oh, yes, yes, yes. So take this, steal anything you want out of it. It's all yours. Okay. So I've got Monday all the way through Friday. So this can be your whole week planned out. And again, you could toss this stuff in there for them or you can let them build it out as they go. So to-do list, uh, then I've got some just like basic notes pages here. I just kind of stuck this in here so they could use it if they wanted. They want to take notes, you know, et cetera. Then I thought, I never used Cornell notes, but I know a lot of people did. And so I actually made a page for Cornell notes as well. So if you want to use that, you can have it. And then I thought this would be a good way to end the week. Big wins from the week. Cause I don't think students or teachers reflect enough in what we do. And so we could say this is still, you know, week one. And then I could say, what went well this week? You know, uh, we didn't run over, you know, finished everything on time. There you go. I didn't spell everything right. And then I've got a section for how could it be better? So it's a good way to improve because this thing might have been the perfect week. You could probably still make it better. You know, should have studied more. There you go. So you can toss that information in as well. And then we start on week two and this goes on. I've got weeks one through 18. So for the full semester, you should be able to use this one notebook if you want. Okay. And at the very end, the only real change is I tossed in something into the semester thoughts. It's just a page. And if you wanted to, you can have them like when you submit their notebook to you at the end of the year, or you actually will have access to it. If you do it through Google classroom, like I'm about to show you, but you can use that. And, um, and go look at it at any time. Okay, so let's see, how would I actually assign this notebook to my students? I'm gonna kind of walk you through that because I know that's that can be helpful. So let's go to classroom.google.com. Now this, if you're using Google Classroom, you might be using Blackboard or Canvas or something like that. Um, but if you're using Google Classroom, this is how I would assign it. And you just kind of adapt it or tweak it a little bit based on what you're using. Okay, so let's say I'm going to History of Magic. Okay, and I wanna go to, I would, I would recommend putting it under classwork, okay? I'm gonna show you why. Stream, it just, after you post it and stuff happens, it like, it's hard to find, it's hard to locate. But if you go to classwork, you can hit create, and then I would make it a material, unless you're gonna take a grade on it, and then you can make it an assignment and make the due date like the end of the year, 
Oh, that's actually a really good idea. Okay, so you can make it a material if you want and just leave it there. I always did notebook checks, so I would make it an assignment and I would put the title, you know, um, you know, first semester digital notebook. And then I would just say, you know, plan and organize your week, reflect on each week, you know, keep everything linked, updated in here. Awesome. Okay. And then you can make it worth a hundred points. And then I would make the due date the very last day of the semester. So it would, cause honestly it's going to pop up and it'll remind them that they've got it due. So you can make it September, you know, December 18th, whenever your final, final day is. The main thing, whether you make it a material or if you make it a, a end of the semester assignment is to put it under class resources. Don't stick it in with that week. Okay. Either if you're doing it by week or by unit, make sure you put it in under class resources. That way it's a lot easier for them to find it. Now this part's important. You guys ready? You need to go to, let me make that a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see it. Is that better? Awesome. Now we need to add the resource in. We don't want to email it to them. Make a copy. That's going to complicate things. And plus you're not going to have access to it throughout the year. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to go to my Google drive and I'm going to grab that document that I just made. So I'm just going to go here. It is a recent one. Where is that little, where is that little guy? Where is that little guy? I think I called it. I can search for it. Baller. Hopefully I didn't open it up in the wrong account. It looks like I may have. Let's get a little more specific on our search. We want it to be a presentation. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Did I add it to my, I need to add it to my drive. Nope. It's already in my drive. Oh, it's in the wrong account. Come on now. See, I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to add it to my other account so that you guys can see what it actually looks like. So we're going to go Tyler at, make sure you add in the right account. There we go. Editor. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to switch accounts. Excellent. Sorry about that guys. Thank you for staying with me. Hope I didn't lose you. Okay. So what we're doing right now is we just had the full resource, which is linked in my Instagram bio, which is linked in the description. Okay. I've also got it on the screen. It's linked in there. It's called digital baller notebook or digital notebook dash full semester. Okay. Awesome. So now what we're doing is we're putting this in our Google classroom. Okay. So I'm going to toss this in my Google classroom. So let's go back over here. Let's find this presentation. I'm going to click add Google drive. Now I want to find it. Here we go. Here we go. Waiting on this. Here we go. There we go. Got it. Click insert. Boom. Okay. Now this is, this is key guys. This is vital right here. Um, Mary said you left yours without a topic. So it would stay at the top. What do you think? No, I wouldn't do that, Mary. And here's why. Okay. Because you can move those topics. I'm going to show you that in here a second. Don't let me forget. So in the comments, tell me if I don't show you. Okay. So we're wanting to post this resource, but we want to make a copy for each student. So everybody has their own notebook. So I'm going to click on students, not can view file, make a copy for each student. And I'm going to hit assign. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to create a copy for all the students in my class to have their own copy that only they and me have access to. Now, Mary, I want to show you what I would have done, what I can, you can still change it. You can still add topics. So this is what I would do. Go to those assignments and start sorting them into either by week, like week one, week two, week three. Okay. Or do it by unit, unit one, unit two, unit three. And then always, no matter which one you choose, always have a class resources. This is like your syllabus, um, important links, this digital notebook, whatever they're going to need commonly throughout the semester, no matter which unit or which week, then I would do that. Okay, good. Mary, you did weeks. Okay. Do class resources. You have your weeks. Watch what you can do. Those three dots right there, you can click that and you can move it up or down. So I can move class resources up to the top. I think you can also click and drag. Yeah, you can click and drag your weeks. So I can click and drag week three up to the top. I can drag my weeks around from there. So um, that's what I would do. And I would always just keep class resources right at the top because this is stuff they're gonna need to refer to a lot. 
So I would keep that there. Hopefully I answered your question. I hope I did. Um, thank you, Joshua. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's the class resources. Seriously, like, cause you know, my kids are in there and it's like, they're searching and finding all these important things. I would definitely recommend making like your class resources. That's the stuff you're going to hit at any point. It can be like a link. You can just have an entire class resource that is just like how to check your grades or Google tutorials or whatever you want. Um, I, you could put my Google, um, cheat sheet for students and link that as a class resource. So definitely get that, push it at the top. Okay. Now when I do that, watch this, do my dance. When I go to my drive, this is what's awesome about it. You now can view everybody's notebook at any point in time because you did it through Google classroom. Watch this. I can go to my classroom folder. I'm going to pick on that class, which was, Oh, where is that class? I don't see it. Oh no. Am I the creator of it? That stinks. What am I doing? Like logging into the wrong accounts. Come on, Tyler. You're better than that. Okay. Let's see. Make sure I've got it. Okay. Let me try this history. Let me see if I can search that class, man. Don't you love technology? It's like you're thinking something's working and then you're like, I was signed into the wrong account all the time. Happens all the time. Well, okay. So who's the owner of that class? Okay, we're, I'm so sorry. Let's see, people, I mean, I'm the owner of it. Got it, thank you. History of Magic, let's see. There should be a folder in Classroom under that. Let's see, can I move it out of it? Maybe I deleted it, I don't know. Okay, so we will, You. thank you for your patience. We're going to find it. We're going to find it. I want to show you where you can see it. Anyways, there's a link under classroom and then you can go to that folder of that class and then you can actually see all of them. It'll be listed by their names and everything. So you'll be able to look at any student's um, presentation at any time. And also you can search. So if like a student did something, you could search in your Google Drive and you could find like that word out of that presentation and pull that up. So you could see what kid wrote it or did something from that. Let's see. Okay. Yours will be under classroom. I don't know why mine isn't. Okay. So that's how I'll do it if it was a full semester. Now go in and edit mine. Now also in here, when you do this, even if you're not using it, you can actually take all of that stuff because I made Cornell notes. I made regular notes. You can build your own notebook. It is a template. If you click the drop down, I made like, I made a ton more like this style, like headers and notes and all this other stuff. And you could scroll through and use any of these pages, the attendance pages, the weekly stuff, notes pages. I've got um, different colors. If you like the maroon or if you like the red. Um, yes, Mary, that's exactly right. You do become a collaborator with every student and you have the ability to go. Yes. Like big brothers, 1980, very 1984 of you. Cause you can go in and check at any time. So you can go in, they can use the to-do list. You can make extras. You can do anything you want with those resources. Now, I want to show you guys my weekly one, okay? This one, if you've already started your school year, and I'll be honest, if I was teaching right now, I would do the weekly one. I would not do the full semester. The full semester is almost daunting to me because it's the entire semester at once, unless I was just like handing it to the students saying, good luck, guys, figure it out. Like maybe the older grades, I would do it. But especially with the younger, middle and younger grades, I would definitely do weekly. And here's why. All that stuff you can put in, those links, to-do lists, all that stuff, you can add that in for them. So I think if you click on this, you can go in and click on it. Click on the link. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to my Instagram account. Click on the link. It's right there underneath the lightning bolt. And then it's the resource. It is like the fifth or sixth one down. It says weekly. Digital notebook weekly. Do y'all see that? Digital notebook weekly. Click on that. It's going to make a copy for you that is now your copy. So I'm going to click make a copy. Now this one, it's like the other one. It's very similar. I changed up some of the attendance stuff, but I, I kept a lot of it the same. And so you can go in and edit this and this allows you to make adjustments and modifications because here's the thing with the full semester. When you share it and make a copy for everybody, now you can't go in and make like a bulk edit on week five, or you can't go in and change a notes page that you figure out doesn't work for you. This one, you could change week to week and adjust. 
So the opener is very similar. They put their name in, they put all that stuff in there. Um, then you've got your important links. Now here you can adjust different links. Say you're going to go over, you know, Thomas Jefferson, and you want to go find different links that are important for that week on Thomas Jefferson, you could toss them in here under classroom links. Go to your, I still got Google help videos in there if you want those. Now, here's what I changed on attendance for weekly. And again, you can adjust this. You can go in and change any of these master slides if you want to. Do you know how to do that? I'll show you how to do that. So let's see, Google help videos. Let me click the link to the next page. There it is. There's the Google help videos. And then we've got our attendance. Okay. So I changed it up for this week. This is really the main change I made on the weekly besides it's just being one week. I kind of went in and made it to where they could do like see their schedule for the week. And a lot of them are going to like work in the morning. They're going to have lunch and they're going to work in the afternoon. And then they might work at night for homework. I made it to where they could put their start stop time. So like if a student was required to, they could go in and put, I started at eight o'clock and then they quit working at 12. I think I just deleted the entire text box. Come up, come on back. Come on back, little buddy. There we go. My computer's moving slow because I'm doing, doing too much, bro. Okay, so I'll go in. I'm going to say I'm going to start at 8 o'clock. And then I can say, you know what? I'm going to end working at 11. And students could actually go in and show you their schedule for the week. And then you'll know when you can contact them. Um, that's one way to do it. Adjust this, change it whatever. And then I also want them to reflect on it. So it's like, what worked on your schedule this week? And then what didn't work? And so I've got two boxes there where they can put that information in and check it out. So the rest of it's very similar to the full semester one to where it's got their every day. They can add in different notes pages, all of it. So if you think this is helpful, cool, please use it for your class. Again, if you want to know how to get there, you can go to the link in my Instagram bio. And I've also got a link. If you're on YouTube, it's linked in the description. Just click my Instagram go to the bio, you're good to go, and you can have it. Um, also, I've got you know a ton more resources. And then if you, actually the people that I notified about this live, because this is live, you're watching it later, that's cool. But I actually um, have a text list, and it's completely free. And it's like a list of people that, it's free for you guys, it costs me money. But it's a way for me to send out like, hey, I'm going live. I literally sent out this resource to them and then I just said, going live in a few minutes if you want to join. And so I would assume most of you guys are there. So if you want to join that, you can just text teacher to 501-214-4071. That adds me in your phone book so I can, so I can send you resources whenever I make them. Because I didn't know I was going to make this digital interactive notebook. Then I was on TikTok and I asked teachers, what do you need? And they said, hey, we need, um, we need a ton of resources is what we need. We are, we need a bunch of interactive notebooks. I was like, all right, cool. So I Googled what that was and I made some. So if you want them, use them. They're yours. I hope they help. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you want to hit subscribe, that's cool. If you want to tell people about this, that's even cooler. But I hope you have a great day. I hope your school year is great. If you're starting tomorrow for the first time, you're going to kill it. It's going to be a great year and you guys are going to learn so much. That's when I learned when I became a principal and we had a ton of digital and online interactive blended classes. That's what I learned about Google. That's whenever I really got in the trenches and learned stuff. And it's only because I had to. I was like, I got to learn this or else I can't run this school. And so that's what you guys are kind of doing now. You're learning and you're diving in head first and you guys are going to do great. It's going to be a good year. Thank you guys. Y'all be good and never stop learning. Peace. Bye.